Hey there, everybody. This is Dylan. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am excited. I'm going to do the review of the Queen of Hearts from Disney's Descendants, The Rise of Red. I just received her today, and I'm so thrilled. She came from Amazon. She was a pre-order for a while. She keeps coming in and out of stock. So if you haven't got her and you need her, please make sure that you keep checking that. Um, I will have the links for that. If she does become available again, I will make sure to post those if I can. Um, she goes really quick. <laughs> um, but she is seeming to be only available on Amazon online. So I haven't seen her in any stores or anything. So that's just the, the best luck I can have is just ordering her from online. But she is so beautiful. I, I just cannot get over and I cannot wait to get this out of the box. And I thought it would be nice just to start this video with Bridget, her younger counterpart here with uh, her future self. <laughs> I guess both of their names are Bridget. It's just, you know, whenever she grows up, she doesn't use that name anymore. But I have Bridget here. I thought it would be fun to look at them together. So, of course, at the end of the video, whenever um, whenever she's out of the box and everything, the queen is out, then we will, of course, do the full comparison just because, yeah, this is the future version of Bridget. You know, a lot of people would never guess that. <laughs> so we'll put Miss, Miss Bridget here to rest for a second. And we have the beautiful Rita Ora, Queen of Hearts. It's just stunning. So, so nice. The gloves are, are the most interesting part, I think, and that's really just the only area that I'm like, eh, you know, um, but we'll get there. We'll get there, but in terms of the rest of the doll, wonderful, wonderful. So, um, Disney Descendants Rise of Red logo here. We have a beautiful image of Rita Ora here wearing this same gown from the film. I loved all the red jewels. I love her cards. I'm, I'm glad that the cards are like included here. We will, of course, keep those for the outfit. So, this is the same box as the Cinderella doll. So, like, the adults are like a more, I guess, collector version. Um, technically. Actually, the box that she came with, I'm just going to show this really briefly here. It's really ugly. <laughs> just like an ugly brown and it's all dingy. But it says Mattel Toys Disney Entertainment Collector Villain Doll. So I suppose they are um, considering this as a collector doll. So I'm guessing her and Cinderella are, are that kind of level. So we have like the cool little shapes down the sides. Those are like, um, of course, referencing her cards. Wonderful. The lightning bolt, which was on the um, kid dolls. Um, Disney Descendants Rise of Red logo on the side with like a spinning clock because we do go back in time. And then this side has the D Disney Descendants Rise of Red again. Really where it's different is the back of the box where we can see like a lovely image of her wearing this dress, which is interesting because this dress is kind of like level at the top so it's almost like you could set stuff on top of her dress like if she needed to <laughs> maybe if she has a cup of tea or a cup of wonderland tea that would look great you know sitting on top of her dress and then also just seeing how the roses are like twisted hearts just fascinating like just showing how her mental health has totally been ravaged by the bullying of the past, you know, and just like the, the hearts are twisted. It's just interesting. So it says Queen of Hearts, and it says this tyrant rules the kingdom of Wonderland with a thorn in her heart. Yes, and by the end of the film, I think she was kind of healed, but I, I think what, they left us hanging a little bit, so hopefully we get to see more of that. I feel like the story is not over. <laughs> and then we have Mattel logo, and then this is um included on newer Disney merchandise like even the D23 dolls had that on there so it's just interesting all right so we start unboxing her up here so let's start to get her out of the box oh my goodness it's just beautiful oh my <laughs> <laughs> I think she's hands down a better doll than the Cinderella doll. You know, I hate to say that just because Cinderella is the princess and she's the good guy. But I just think this one is far superior. And this might be my favorite doll of all of them. You know, I thought Bridget and Uma were going to win that or Ella whenever I do find her. She's just never available in the U.S. for some whatever reason, you know. I know a lot of you have said that in my comments. So you all are looking for Ella too. But um, yes, this is just 
next next level next level so let's take a little bit of um, look at the details here while we have the plastic glare um, and this also gives you a good look at that background which I believe is the same for her and Cinderella um, I just see like the heart and then of course you have like like the Wonderland castle in there and then the other side is like Oridon so it just shows like the the tie between the two and also I noticed how this one has a doll stand and the Cinderella one doesn't so very interesting so I do think that this looks like Rita Ora um, it's definitely like a Mattel version of that you know it's not exactly spot on but we know who the character is and who this is supposed to be and I do like the face paint with like the beautiful red kind of eyeshadow the big lips you know she really looked great in the film. I mean, very impressive. So this crown, of course, is emulating the red jewels. Um, this is like a plastic piece in the middle, looks like like the heart collar. Also included here is like the necklace choker piece. Um, like I said, the gloves are just a little interesting just given the fabric that they chose, but you know, actually after getting the plastic off, it looks very nice. I think it's supposed to look a little gaudy just because she's a very gaudy person. I mean, she just loves jewels and everything red and just hearts and roses. So, I mean, I could see her working that. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting fabric choice, you know, and it's, it's hard with dolls of this size to really get good gloves on them. You know, I think the Disney store struggled with that for a long time and, you know, most recently perfected, I think, with the stepsister set very nice. I like the cards too. So we'll have to cut this out. <laughs> have to cut this out. In terms of the skirt, beautiful. Beautiful. I love this. I love this. You know, is it exactly what what is in the film? Maybe. I mean, probably a semi-collector version. Um, this would look wonderful as like a 17-inch doll by the way, but I love how it's emulating the roses, you know, there's like uh, strips of fabric that they've used, it's not cheaped out on. Um, I definitely want to lift up her skirt to get to her shoes here in a second, but it's kind of tacked down, so I just need to get rid of that, but lovely, lovely, and I'm thinking it's all one piece, I think. We won't know until, but I think that it is all one piece, except for the this middle portion. So, all right, let's get some scissors and we will start to debox her. It's just so pretty though, my goodness. This is a doll that I could see, you know, keeping one in the box. So I did cut the cards out, that way she can have that in her hand. Of course, they're just cardboard, but it would be nice to have gotten a nice plastic card set for her to hold. And she does have a stand, like I said, and we've seen kind of stands like this before where you have to pop that in. So she will be able to be displayed with that. Um, my goodness, where do I begin? <laughs> Everything is so lovely. As you can see, there's still some pieces we need to debox, but just giving you a little bit more of an idea of, yeah, just how lovely she is. Ooh, look at her heels. My. <laughs> yeah, so let's finish deboxing. I think I'm going to leave this rubber band here just because that's kind of keeping her hair in place. You know, I kind of like the two pieces in the front. So, yeah, I'm going to try to leave that, you know, if I don't accidentally cut it. But look at her dress. It goes all the way around. Wonderful. Yeah, so let's finish this, getting this off because it looks horrible. <laughs> and, oh. That thing just came right off. Also her gloves, you know, see like it's just kind of like mittens a little bit, but it works, you know. There's not much you can do for that, but I almost kind of like that like shiny material, you know. All right, so let's get that off.
Yeah, so that wasn't hard at all to get off. As you can see, it's just kind of um, matted down in the back just because that's how she has been packaged. But real quick, look at the back of the vest. I really like how it's like, looks like it's laced up in the back. That's really cool. I didn't expect that to be there or like the molding. They really did well with this doll set. I mean, and the queen is probably the most beautiful one. I mean, she'd, she'd have it that way, definitely. So there is a lot of just like little tacks here and there that are just yuck. I have those all over my house. I mean, like just after doing so many reviews, they're just everywhere. <laughs> so her hair is very, very nice quality, very nice shade of red, all the same color. Um, definitely like she's dyed it that way. You know, I think that she totally would. It's interesting how she went from Bridget to the Queen as being like pink hair then to like a blood red. So it's like, oh yeah, she really is pretty evil. So yes, I'm going to leave the two strands there just because I like how those are placed. And I know that I will never get those to stay there that way again. <laughs> so yeah, the middle piece is like where the plastic is. And like I showed you the back, I really, really like that. The piece around her neck is an entirely different other accessory. And that is uh, rubber banded on there to stay in place. So that's an entirely different piece. Um, I like how the color also keeps her hair nice and neat and queenly. <laughs> so the middle piece is fabric, and this is the same garment as the skirt. So it's all one dress, which is wonderful, right? You know, I'm glad that they're bringing that type of quality back. And there's some ruffles up here, um, but really the showstopper is the skirt because how can you not love this? It looks great. These two pieces up here, the peplums are wonderful. Um, I think that looks nice, but really where it's at is the roses. You know, this would make a nice bell skirt too. Actually, you know, thinking of that, haven't we got a bell doll with this type of skirt? You know, uh -huh, you know, original Disney princess designer doll line with the yellow roses. Um, very similar, <laughs> but it's just wonderful how they've taken the pieces of fabric and created flowers out of them. It's very high quality, very nice, and it goes all the way around. And the inner part of this uh, skirt has a lining so that's very nice as well. Um, they do put like these little plastic things around her knees and I think that's just to kind of help them in shipping or something, um, but I'm gonna just leave those there. You know, I'm not gonna fight with those, but very lovely. Her shoes are rubber banded on, of course, to keep them on and they are pumps. Looks like it's the same feet as the Cinderella doll. So they have the same um, proportions. Um, and I really, really like the shoes too. Very pretty. I just wondered if they would be just like red high heels or something, but these have like a little bit of detail on them. So I really like that. So she is just wonderful. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything else. And I love, I love the um, gloves too, even though they're a little mitten-like, I love them still. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to get her on her doll stand. So it's one of those that you just kind of put between um, like the articulating points in her hips kind of, and she just kind of perches on top. Um, it's nothing that you really have to work with too much. It should just, um, oh, I, it would help if I had it the right way, duh. <laughs> Sorry guys, um, but um, she should just uh, sit right on there and gravity will do its thing. You know, it's not the best stand, but I'm glad that she at least came with one. You know, I'm shocked. Cinderella, I'm pretty sure Cinderella didn't come with one, which is crazy to me because her and Cinderella, maybe they're considering the queen more like the collector doll and Cinderella, I guess, is like a deluxe doll. Maybe. Um, I don't know. So yeah, she's able to be displayed on her own, you know. I think that you could get like some rubber bands and get these cards like in her hand. That would be really nice. Yeah, let me see if I can do something here with that. It's gonna make me struggle a bit, so I'll do it off camera, but I think it'll look cool. Okay, not perfect, but yeah, better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, if you had like a rubber band or something, you could clearly get that to work. And here we have Bridget with her future self my goodness what would she say to her she'd probably be like you need to be a little nicer or maybe 
I don't know, go see a therapist so you can heal from all this um, emotional trauma. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, they look really lovely together. It's like you would not even know they're the same character. But I guess that's just how, um, I guess whenever you go through bullying and all that, I mean, that's just what happens. So <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, that was my Queen of Hearts review. I'm so excited to finally be bringing it to you. Um, I've waited so long for this doll, and I'm so happy that she's finally here. So I hope everybody enjoyed, and make sure you like the video, comment down below. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.